Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, Yahweh, is who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to also say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world unto the Shalom unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you. I say Shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is going to be Stop Being Optimistic About This Place. All right, and this place that I'm referring to is America. All right, our people are, you know, mainly you, you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are continuously being optimistic about America and, and you know, this place turning things around. It's not going to happen. OK, stop thinking and praying and hoping and wishing that it's going to get better. You know, things is going to get better. It is not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. OK, and, and once you realize that, once you come to that, that 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 fact, that's you, then you'll be better off. Then you'll be prepared. You can prepare yourself mentally and spiritually for the downfall of America and the rest of this this wicked man's uh, infrastructure. OK, because. If you have eyes to see, you can see that America is is is, is in a downturn. All right, the, the 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 camaraderie, the morale of this place is 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 is, is through. All right, because this place is divided more than ever. Okay, and and it's, it's ain't no coming back from that. All right, so you Jakes out there, stop man, stop thinking that everything's gonna be all right. It's not gonna be all right. All right, only thing that's good about this place is, is that it's 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 going down, and, and our captivity. Is about to end. All right. The only thing, only thing I can see good about this place is, is destruction in the kingdom of heaven. That's the only thing I'm optimistic about. And you Israelites should be thinking the same way. All right. If you truly believe in this doctrine, if you truly believe in your howl by Shimei All right. Stop, stop trying to, you know, you know, th thinking that you know it, I'm gonna be an Israelite, but I'm gonna still try to get, chase this bag. I'm an Israelite, but I'm gonna still trying to, you know, uh, um, start this business. You know. Forget all that shit, all right? Because this man is his, his man is about to put his stamp. He's really putting his finishing touches on this new world order, all right? And, and it's only a matter of time before he puts things in action. So let me grab a few scriptures. Um, I don't want to make this too long, but I just got to push this point because Jake is Jake's mind is not where they need to be right now. Jake's mind is in in a in, a, 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 in folly and entertainment and and, and you know uh, um, being optimistic. All right. Thinking that, you know, it's, it's going to turn around and, you know, this ain't the end. This is the end. We at the end. If the end was five years from now, that's closer than ever. OK. If the end was two years from now, that's close. If the end is one year, that's even closer. Jake not thinking like that. Jake is thinking our people are thinking shit, t you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the line. And this is not going to happen. OK. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven, and verse two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to heart. It's better to go to the house of mourning. If you're in the house of mourning, all right, you're in the house of, um, you know, you, you're, you're prepared for hard times. You're prepared for, you know, to, to catch hell. Okay. But if you're in a house of feasting, all right, then you're, you're in your, in your mind is, you know, filled with, um, you know, um, optimism and, 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 uh, you know, like niggas, you just say, you know, good vibes and positive vibes. Hey, you're, you're, you're on your path to destruction. All right. Let me jump down to, um, verse four, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Our people is, are, are, are in a, in a, you know, are in a mirthful spirit in captivity. We're in captivity. All right. It's nothing good about, Waking up every day, going to the going to work and busting your ass just to barely make it. All right, living check to check. Okay, paying this bills, that bills. All right, you know, waiting for a little funky ass income tax. All right, it's, it's nothing good about that because you're you're stuck in the system. You know, uh, um, giving your money back, you your money you make, you are giving it right back. You don't get this. We don't get those. We don't got no savings in this in this society. And and, and uh, you know these niggas think they they doing something because they got. You know, they, they may have a business. They may be trying to, you know, they, be, they may be making some pretty good money. But when that point, when that hour of temptation comes, 
when all the money, everything you work for, your business and all of that shit is, is basically put on the line um, because this devil's going to attach everything to his, to his mark, then what are you going to do? A lot of our people, they're going to fold and, and, and go along with this man's system just to keep the crumbs that this devil allows you to have. All right. Whether you whether you be you have a million dollars, you know, you know, you may have some millions in the bank. You're an athlete, you're an entertainer, whatever. Once you take that that device, you're through. OK, so so better to be in the house of mourning, better to be in the house of, uh, uh, of you know, uh, uh, the spirit of repentance, the spirit of, you know, uh, uh, trying to get yourself right. All right. The, the spirit of remorse. All right. Then to be in the house of, of, of feasting in the house of mirth. All right. It says. Um, verse seven, I, I'm jumping down to verse seven. It's like I'm jumping all over the place. It says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and the gift destroy of the heart. And, and if you if you're truly oppressed. All right. You, you, you're you're going to be mad. OK. We, we, hey, the, the, tr the true believers of your Hashem are shy. And we mad. We're vexed every day in this place. This wicked ass kingdom called America. OK. Under this devil Esau. All right, we're oppressed. We're mad every day. It's something that vexes us every day about this place. These people, the the you know everything, okay. Um, but the gift destroyed the heart, and, and, and you niggas have been given all right a small little crumbs off the off the devil's plate, and, and you're satisfied with that. You're happy with that. You're content with living under this devil for the rest of your life. All right, hey, the, the, the true believers of your Habashim Al Shai, the hopeful elect man, we 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 through with this place. We're done with America. Are all this bullshit and folly and confusion that is pushed in this place? All right, all the wickedness. All right. So if 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 we're sighing and crying, how do you think the how do you think you know the heavenly father feels? The scriptures say that the the, the 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 sins of America have reached up to the heavenly father, and we're at that point. Okay. Um. Let me go to um. Let me hit Daniel. Uh, Daniel twelve. Cause that's what's coming to this place, you know. Why Jake is being all optimistic and uh, 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 hopeful of you know uh, of a prosperous 2023 and all that BS? Hey, destruction is coming. All right, a time of trouble is coming to this place. All right, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse one. And that, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book and that people that that remnant of people that's going to be delivered is speaking on the uh elect the hundred and forty four thousand the men all right which are the prophets and the one third the the the, the, the children the women and the helps of the prophets are going to be delivered written in the book but everyone else two-thirds of our people are going to perish two-thirds of our people that believe in america two-thirds of our people that fight against us because they want to keep this place afloat all right but this is going to be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time so we're, we're entering into that time of trouble we're actually we're in that time of trouble okay we just not deep in it because this devil esau is plotting and scheming every day or right, on ways to uh, corrupt your minds, corrupt, you know, really your minds, you know, or if he got your mind, he got you, all right, to corrupt your minds and confuse you niggas and continue to have you believe in this place, not just you, Jake, not just you, uh, you, uh, uh Negroes, but you, 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 um, you, uh, uh Northern Kingdom too, you so-called, uh, uh, Latinos, all right, you N Native Americans, all right, he's, he's playing hard, he, he's, he's, uh, uh um, uh, trying to play your brain, your, your minds also, all right, let me jump over to Jeremiah um, 30 and 7. Jacob's trouble. That, that's what we're entering into because it's going to be hard on our people, first and foremost, because we're the children of the Heavenly Father and we went off. We uh, began to serve idols and serve um, all these false gods. Okay, that's where we went off. All right, uh, uh, eating abominable foods, um, doing all matter of abominations. All right, and all of us are guilty of uh, of guilty of sin and death. All right, but it's those that repent, those that turn away from sin. That's what repent means. Okay, this is the book of Jeremiah thirty and verse seven. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Just like the verse I read in uh, the the 
Daniel 12 and 1. All right, they shall be, my, my, but in that time, my people shall be delivered. And it says here, it's similar, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's that he? That's speaking of the elect. It's going to be saved out of it, but it's going to be a time of trouble. All right, and it's going to be a great day, a great day of judgment and a great day of deliver, deliverance at the same time. Okay, but, but no one's looking, the only the hopeful elect are, are looking and hastening unto this day. All right, everyone else is putting the day off. Okay, putting it off. You know, it, you know that's not going to happen. You know, it ain't going to happen in my lifetime. Hope, hope I'm dead. You know, when that all that happens, hey, hey, we're living in it, okay? Because all we need is something catastrophic to happen, and and you know, whether it be an EMP, a, 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 a shutdown of all the you know the the um, electrical grids, something that's going to have to that's something that's going to um, you know uh, fast forward this new world order, this man's new world order, and green light his uh, uh, his his um, his MOTB. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24, and I'm going to start at verse 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no, nor, nor ever shall be. And this is twofold. It's speaking of 70 AD, all right, and also speaking of these times. So 70 AD was, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was tough on our people, okay? Uh, um, they were starved out, you know, they, they, they were, you know, uh, the temple was ransacked. The people were, you know, slaughtered by those Roman centurions, by the Romans. Okay. But in these days, it's going to be even, it's going to be even harsher. All right. These devils ain't going to have, they didn't have no pity on the, in, in those times, but they're really not going to have any pity in these times. All right. That's that devil coming down with great wrath. I'm going to get that after I read this scripture. Verse 22, and except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, and the days are being shortened. We're, hey, things are moving faster and faster. All right, what's today's date? The uh, 18th, I believe. And, hey, next thing you know, we're going to be in February, March, April. Hey, this thing's, this shit is moving. And as as time is moving fast, hey, Revelation 12 and 12 is also coming to pass also. All right? Revelation 12 and verse 12, it says, Rejoice, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And this great wrath is going to come in, it's going to come in all, all levels. All right. It's going to come, of course, of the sword, but it's going to come in his witchcraft, in his, in his sorcery. All right. This devil is not, this devil won't play fair. Okay. That's why you people got to get your mind right. You Israelites, stop, stop thinking that you got time because you don't have time because once this shit happens, it's, it's over. All right, ain't no going to the going to uh, seek the prophets. There's no going to uh, oh, let me see about this and see about this and what's the MOTB. Ain't gonna be none of that shit. All right, because the time is is the time is now to to hearken and hasten to the day of the Lord. This is um First Thessalonians five and one. But of the time and of the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves perfectly know that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, when you least expect it. Right, right when you're thinking, you know, I got everything where I want it. You know, I, I, my kids are in a good school. Um, you know, I, I, I got a good job. I'm making money. Bam, that's when the Lord gonna throw a monkey wrench in your life. All right, and all of this shit, and then and then you're gonna be stuck thinking, you know, what should I do? I should have did this. I should have listened. It's gonna be too late for a lot of niggas, man. I, I, what's the name of the Lord? Or what's it, what, what's what's his son's name? Man, it's it's gonna be late, too late for a lot of niggas because their mind. And, and, and their mind is caught up in folly and bullshit and their actions are, are, are the same. All right. Jake is not rushing down to the street corner to get this truth, to get this word. Jake is not, you know, uh, uh, um, on YouTube searching for the truth, searching for answers. They're searching for bullshit. They're looking at pop culture and what nigga said this and um, Young Thug and 21 Savage said that, all this nigga shit, man. It, it's, it's, it, all these things, all these things and folly and bullshit in this world are irrelevant now, okay? What 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 is relevant is this truth, and you Israelites, you know, uh, uh, turning away from sin and coming and out of this place, okay? Spiritually, all right? Because you know, as Revelations was it Revelations um, eighteen says, "Come up out of her, my people," all right? So you may be my, be not partakers in her sins. That coming out is speaking of the deliverance, all right? You physically coming up out of America. You know, when we get to that point, it's going to be too late. Because right, this place is going to be under heavy, heavy fire from those uh, those ICBM missiles. All right. Verse uh, three, for when they shall say peace and safety, 
Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. No one's escaping this destruction. No one's escaping these plagues. Even the prophets got to go through, you know, the hour of temptation. They got to go through Jacob's trouble. But they, as the scripture said, that um, they shall be saved out of it. Okay, that and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that's found written in the book, the, the Lamb's Book of Life. Okay, um, verse four. But brethren, but brethren are not in darkness, that the day shall not overtake them as a thief. So those that are not in darkness, that are coming to the light, and the light represents this truth. All right, this 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 um, you know this storm, this flood with the devil coming in is not going to overtake you as a thief. All right, you're not going to be caught like a thief in the night because you're watching, you're on your watch. You understand the prophecies. You understand that this is the end. You understand that this devil is coming down with great wrath and you're preparing yourself mentally and spiritually, okay, you know, and, and for these things, for these times to come. Verse five, you are the children of light and not and the children of the day for we are not of the night nor of darkness. And two thirds of our people, this world, Esau, these heathens, they're all darkness, all darkness, gross darkness. Okay, gross darkness has covered the earth, as the scripture says in the book of Isaiah. Okay, um, all right, I got a few more scriptures I want to grab. Uh, I'll grab this one in Matthew uh, 5 and verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Those that are in that state of mourning that I was referring to in, uh, or I read in, Ecclesiastes 7, okay? Blessed are they that mourn, so they shall be comforted. Comforted. Blessed are the meek, so they, so they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. All right, so th those that are, that are mourning, those that are humble and meek. They, they, hey, those are the ones that the Lord's dealing with. But you proud ass niggas that think that you know this ain't the end, and we just some crazy niggas don't you know that, that don't know what we're talking about. Hey, you're gonna you're 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 the ones that's gonna mourn at the end of the day. You're the ones that's gonna um be uh, uh, uh searching for answers. You're the ones that's gonna you know uh, uh, uh whose judgment is gonna be swift and harsh. Okay, let me grab one more scripture. Um. I know it's in John, um, shoot, 16, yep, 16, I, I knew it, John 16 and uh, 33, these things have I spoken unto you that ye, that in me ye might have peace, in the world you ye shall have tribulation, and of course, that's speaking of the tribulation, Jacob's trouble, that's tribulation, okay, you know, these plagues, all right, uh, you know, um, pestilence, uh, famine, Esau coming down with, with great wrath, the sword, okay? You know, going through all these things, all right, that, that's a tribulation. But Yahweh Shai says, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. All right, so Yahweh Shai overcame death, or he overcame this world, and, and the hopeful elect, hey, that's what, we're, um, that's what we're trying to do also, okay? So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to um, give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Havakakwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.